What's going on, Slawcar family? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This is MP Slawcar, I'm Massimo, and today in this video we're going to continue with the 124 population of the leaderboard on this revised layout. And I thought it would be a fun one to do a Ford versus Ferrari battle. Yes, you know, we're going to try to rewrite the history books. Ford got the better of Ferrari. We're going to try to get Ferrari back on the top here. Might be tough because these Ford GT40s are really quick, but we're going to try. Should be a fun video, so grab your favorite popcorn, favorite beverage, sit down, relax, and enjoy this little mini head-to-head -head battle. Okay. This is awkward now. It's... I was supposed to cut. I was supposed to cut the scene there, but yeah. I'm gonna go. Alrighty then. Here we go to the starting grid. Ford versus Ferrari. We know how this ended the first time. Ford came out on top, but can Ferrari reclaim the top step today? It's going to be a tough order. These four GT40s are fast. Especially this new one here, this Ken Miles one. I opened it just for this video. It's been sealed up until now. So I've done a couple of laps with it just to test it out. And it is, at least it feels much quicker than my other GT40s. We're going to start off with this older one, this GT40, number two, black with silver. Love the livery. Nice bronze rims, really sharp livery on it. And then a yellow Ferrari 330 P4. Something a little bit different. Yellow with the blue rims. I like it. Different than the standard red. Very cool stuff. Moving on to the next four GT40. The Ken Miles. This one seems quick. Can't wait to see how it gets around with an official time lap. But I expect it to be fairly fast. Into the, the final Ferrari. Another Ferrari 330 P4. Quick car here. It's going to be close. I feel like today is going to be very close. It can go either way. I might have to tip my hat to the Ford GT40s, just they're quick, but these Ferraris are no slouch. So without further ado, let's get into it with our first runner, the black Ford GT40. Here we go. Here come the lights. And it's lights out and away we go. As we go around for our first lap, keeping things nice, neat and tidy to the line. And it's a 6.9, that's the benchmark. That time is gonna tumble down. As you can see, first and second sectors are quicker to the line. And it's an improvement, a 6.7. Going around for lap three, back end stepping out there. Going around final corner to the line. Oh, and we de-slot there. Back end kicked out, hit the fence. But on we go to lap three. Going around, keeping things in the slot this time. And it's a 6.9 again. What can we do in the final lap? Can we find an improvement? Coming around to the final corner and to the line. And it's a 6.6, .6, an improvement on the final lap. 6.6, .6, great first benchmark. What can Ferrari do to respond? Well, I'll tell you what, we're about to find out because here come the lights. And it's lights out and away we go, off go the yellow Ferrari. Very eye-catching, this Ferrari. Something different than the standard red that I always run. Going around lap one, it's a 7.1. Not the greatest opening lap, taking things nice and easy around. And P1, there we go, Ferrari lays down the first, I don't know what you want to call it, first marker? I don't know, is that the word I'm looking for? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's a 6.7 on that last lap, coming around through the line, 6.6, .6. still didn't improve from that second lap. Going around, oh, and we de-slot into the trees. Luckily, everyone is okay. So it's a 6.603, .6 that is the new leader, Ferrari take the lead temporarily here. What can Ford do to respond? This Ken Miles, number one Ford GT40. Ferrari responded to Ford, but now can Ford respond to Ferrari? Here come the lights, and you know what I'm gonna say when the lights go out, right? And it's lights out, and away we go. Off goes a Ford GT40, Ken Miles. Love this car, going around, and it's already P1. On the opening lap, Look, and we de-slot too, into the hairpin. Spins right out. Hits the struck in Alfa Romeo there. Ah, not a great start, but we're going to continue here. Now, my timing kind of got a little bit messed up. I will have the final times posted, 
but for whatever reason, it didn't record these laps. There was some further improvements. Here comes the time back now. Lap four, we improved there and we de-slot once again and yeah, great. So it's a 6.2, that is an amazing lap. I think that's, is that P1 on the leaderboard? We gotta check, but if it's not P1, it's right there with the current leader, the 599XX. But now we go on to the final runner of the day, the Ferrari 330 P4. Ford has responded. Can Ferrari respond one final time and take this little mini Ford versus Ferrari competition? Tune in next time to find out. Just kidding. We're going to find out right now. Here come the lights. And it's lights out. And away we go. Off goes Ferrari to try to respond to that Ford GT40. Lap one, not the greatest, still in fourth. What can he do on the second lap here? Coming around to the line and it's an improvement up to P2. Getting a little bit closer, but not close enough. Lap three, nope, doesn't do it there either. Not an improvement, going around. Lap four, running out of time here. Got to find something. It's an improvement, but not close enough. And we hit the lamp pole there. Aye, 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 let's do that again in slow motion. Tag the lamp. No damage done, so the car can continue, but we're not going to continue because it was the last lap. Instead, we're going to rerun the Ford GT40 because I feel like there's more time in this car and I really want to extract as much as I can from it. I feel like I can go faster and we're going to find out here. I'm going to shut up for a while and you can just watch this car go around and see what kind of laps we can achieve. And just like that, we de-slot and I have to speak again. Sorry, guys. Sorry. But we're going to continue on. I want to do around 15 laps, I think. I know there's more time in this car and we're going to run the Ferrari as well one more time just to see because I think both cars can improve. And there it is, a new lap record for the 124s, a 6.1. What can we do in these final few laps here? Can we find a further improvement? We're going to give it our all and try. 6.1 current new leader. Wow, there it is, a 6.090 new lap record. I knew there was more pace in this thing. We're gonna run one more lap here just to see, now that we have momentum, if we can improve a little bit further to the line. And uh, we backed off there, no improvement. What can the Ferrari do to respond? Is there gonna be more pace? Can it get closer to the Ford GT40? Let's listen in. Again, I'm having some issues with the timing. It didn't record. I do have the times posted at the end. And we'll see how this ends up. Enjoy the running. And we do a carbon copy of what we did the first time and hit that lamppost to end the running. So the Ferrari did improve, but only to a 6.215. Not enough to trouble the top, but it does slot into third. The Ford GT40 10 miles takes P1 on the leaderboard for the 124 scales with the Ferrari 599XX is in second. So there's that Ferrari there, the 330P4. The other Ford GT40 that we ran a while back in six with a 6.2. From today's runners, we have the other Ferrari there, that yellow one in 12th with a 6.603, followed by the final Ford GT40 just behind that. So that's gonna end this video here and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. It really helps out the channel and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. It is absolutely, positively free to subscribe. So if you want to, it's down there below. Thank you for joining me. This has been MP Slot Car. Take care of one another and enjoy this amazing hobby. And remember to keep your guide in the slot. Take care, ciao.